What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a third year medical student studying in London. And in this video I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how I went from collecting tons and tons of folders and papers to being absolutely completely paper free uh, as a medical student. I also want to say this doesn't just apply to students in general, even if you're working at a job, I honestly believe that being paper free is the way to go to increase your productivity and also increase your efficiency. I want to be completely honest with you guys, but this is literally and honestly the only bit of paper that I own in my entire life and hopefully this video will help you guys to achieve the same thing as well. If you stick around for the entire video, I promise you this video will change your life and it definitely has changed mine. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I wanna start off by saying uh, what the benefits of being paperless are. There definitely are a number of benefits, but the first one is that it's honestly the future. Many systems like the National Health Service, uh, which is a sector that I work in, are becoming completely, completely paper-free. And the sooner that you're able to adapt to the process and become paper-free yourself, the easier it will be in your work life. The second reason is obviously if you save paper, you save the earth, and also you save yourself a lot of money. During my last bachelor's degree, I ended up spending maybe two to 300 pounds a year just on literally just printing off paper, which is a crazy amount of money. But by far the most important uh, reason of becoming paperless is you become a lot more efficient. The first example of uh, increasing my efficiency is that I have access to every single document, every single paper that I need, literally in the, in the palm of my hands, on my laptop or on my tablet as well. And that for me is the most important reason. The second way this has really increased my efficiency is being able to find documents much, much easier. In the past, if I needed to get like a copy of my passport or some document or paper that I needed, I'd have to go through tons of tons of folders to find that one piece of paper that I saved five years ago. So being able to search for things really easily and have it literally in an instant is one of the best things with being paper free. The third reason is having access to all of these documents uh, as a university student, wherever I am, has really, really been so important to me. In university, I have to travel to and from home I have to travel to different locations. I have to move accommodation every single year. And being able to have all of my documents uh, in one place at all times has really uh, made the hassle a lot easier. Whenever I had to go home from university, for example, I, literally half my suitcase will be folders of paper. This also applies to you if you're working a job. Let's say you move houses or you need to carry um, you know, paper to and from your work and you have to commute to work. Having all of your paper uh, electronically will really really save you a lot of hassle. The next reason to be paperless is that using this method immortalizes your documents. Obviously paper is perishable and things can get easily lost so having these things online is definitely a safe way to making sure that you have your documents with you uh, forever. And lastly being free saves a ton of space. In my last degree as I said I had about 50 to 20 folders just purely of paper. So being free will save a lot of space in your house and clear up a lot of the clutter. So those are the reasons why I think you should become paper free as well. Let's go ahead and talk about how you guys can be paper free yourselves. So Evernote really and truly is the main method as to how I'm completely paper free. This isn't a sponsored video by the way, but the day that I found Evernote and the day that I actually learned to use it has completely changed my life. Evernote has a number of features which I think are really, really key to becoming paper free. The first is that you're able to save documents in various formats. So you can save them in PDFs, audio notes, written notes, pictures. You can save literally any, any file format you have can be saved in Evernote and also accessed on Evernote itself. So if you save a, a Microsoft document, for example, you can save in Evernote and, and you can actually open your documents and access it on the Evernote program. The ability to save things as attachments means that I literally have whole entire books of PDFs saved on my Evernote, meaning that I can also access all of the books I need for my PDF files on Evernote as well. The best feature about Evernote as well is that it scans all of your PDFs and all of your documents. So it scans all of the words that are included in your document, which means that if you try and find something, you're trying to find a certain document and you type in the keywords, it will search for that particular keyword in your document and locate that document very quickly, very easily. This means that I also save time from having to organize my files into different documents. I don't organize my files at all in Evernote, but if you do want to organize your documents into different files, you're able to put them into different notebooks that will organize them quite nicely as well. So for example, if I wanted to find my hospital timetable, all I have to do is type in a timetable or hospital onto the search bar and it'll scan all of my documents and find that exact document that I'm looking for. The next feature of Evernote that's really helpful is you're actually able to email yourself uh, documents and have easy access to them later on. So for example, if I receive my hospital timetable or my school timetable for the next few weeks and I wanna have access to that later on, all I have to do is click forward and email myself 
that document and it'll go straight to my Evernote account, which means that whenever I need it, um, it will be saved on my Evernote. So some examples of how I do this are any flight tickets as well, and basically anything that I receive on my email that I think I'll need to access later on a lot easier. And the last thing to say about Evernote is that it's extremely secure. So you're actually able to lock the app itself using your fingerprint or your face recognition or whatever security system that your phone has. Okay, so how do I use Evernote myself to be paper free? The first way that I use Evernote is for any notes in general. So that's whether I'm planning a YouTube video or maybe keeping track of how many lectures I've revised or making a shopping list. All of my general notes that uh, I need are written and stored on Evernote, which means that it takes away the need to write on paper. The next way that I use Evernote is that if I come across a document that I know for a fact I'll need in the future, maybe some important information that was sent by my course, all of the important documents uh, from medicine, anything at all, I literally just take out my phone and scan it straight away onto my Evernote. Again, if I receive a really important email containing some information that I'll need, I forward it straight to my Evernote and save it for easier access in the future. The next way that I use Evernote is to store every single important document. A few examples are uh, passport copies, certificates, my CV, any important letters, anything that I know that I'll need at hand some point in the future are all saved on my Evernote. So if I'm ever filling out a form that needs um, a copy of my passport, I'll go straight onto Evernote and have access to it straight away. Learning to master Evernote is literally 90% of the, the way of becoming completely paper-free. Uh, it took me a while to learn it myself, but as soon as I was able to learn it and able to master it, my life slowly became a lot more uh, paper-free. Yes, I did have to spend a bit of time uh, scanning my current documents that I already had to put it onto Evernote, but once all that scanning was done, it honestly felt incredible to be able to throw away all of the paper that I had cluttered in my room and also it made things so much easier in the future when I needed access to all of these documents as well. The next way that I'm completely paperless in university is by using a few programs that allow me to have all of my notes and all of my lecture notes uh, completely electronic as well. The way that I do this is to use uh, two apps really. The first one is Microsoft OneNote. I use Microsoft OneNote to first of all download all of the lecture slides that are given to us from our university. What I then do is then uh, import all of those PDFs into my Microsoft OneNote and bring up the lectures there. While I'm actually sat in a lecture in, in the lecture theater, I then type along the lecture slides on the side so that all of my lecture notes are completely electronic and I don't have to print them off uh, as PDF documents and write on the side because that takes a lot of paper. The next method that really helps me be paperless in university is to have a tablet. So I have a Samsung tablet uh, which comes with a pen as well. Um, so a pen over here and the tablet itself. And I really, really do recommend that you guys invest in some sort of tablet yourself, whether it's a Samsung tablet or an iPad. This does definitely change the game. After writing my lecture notes during the lecture, I then go home and use my Samsung tablet as a way to write out all of my own lecture notes. I also use my tablet as a method to completely replace paper. So whatever I used to do with the paper and pen is now completely replaced by my tablet. The last method that I use to be completely paperless is to use an app called Adobe Scan. You can use whatever scanning method you want to, to be honest. This is just something I chose to use. If I do need to scan a document and not upload it onto Evernote, I just want to scan it in general. I go straight onto my Adobe app. I scan wherever I need using the app. Uh, then from there, I can decide to share it uh, to Evernote or email it to someone or uh, do whatever I want with it really. But in the majority of the times, I normally just scan directly into Evernote using Evernote's own uh, scanning feature. The next method that I use to be paperless is to have a portable scanner. Although I normally scan documents using my phone, uh, if I have more than, let's say, uh, five or six uh, documents that need to be scanned onto my Evernote, uh, then I bring out my portable scanner. The one that I use is made by Fujitsu. I'll leave like a, something on the screen to tell you guys exactly what it is. I just want to highlight that this is not necessary at all. You don't have to use this method. This is something that I bought myself, but you're more than capable of doing all of this using your phone uh, to scan all your documents. Evernote itself actually also has its own scanning feature. So if you want to scan a document directly onto Evernote, all you have to do is go onto the app, uh, click scan and it'll scan your document for you. So those are the simple methods that I use to be completely paper free. I do hope you guys become paper free yourselves and I really hope this video has helped you to become so. If you have any questions at all about my method of becoming paper free or anything in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.